Welcome to my channel. Today I am sharing a recap of my second trimester of my pregnancy. Um, if you watched some of my past videos, I kind of shared a little bit of my first trimester, what was going on there. Not a whole lot of what I've been sharing on pregnancy videos, but I've been enjoying watching these myself on YouTube, so I thought I would share. Um, if you are new to my channel, I do videos on simple and thrifted living, DIYs, and homemaking, and I'd love to have you join my community. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up for pregnancy, and if you are pregnant, let me know below and things that you've liked or didn't like during second trimester and what's been happening. Anyways, I am going to jump right in. I don't want to make this too long, but I'm guessing with my little list that I got here, it might get a tad bit long. Alright, anyways, first thing I have to share is I had no cravings. Like, um, I'm at 29 weeks now when this video goes up, and I really have not craved much of anything. So, every once in a while I might be like, oh, I really want this, but, you know, that's sometimes normal life cravings too. And with it being the holidays during my second trimester, I kind of did indulge a little bit. I just like to have balance with what I eat and my nutrition. So yeah, I would splurge on sweets and, um, but just know that health is still really important. Um, anyways, I have been gaining like a half to one pound a week of weight, which I think is pretty normal. That's what my midwife has said. So I feel confident about that. I am measuring very well. Um, baby looks good at my 28 week appointment. So all that is good. Um, I have also been sleeping really well. Like I know a lot of people start struggling once they get a little bit more of a bump. And I have just been, I've been great. I mean, yes, I wake up once throughout the night to go to the bathroom, which is very common because baby's pushing on bladder a lot more. So that has been happening. But sleep wise, I feel like I'm doing great and I really hope that doesn't change in the third trimester. Um, all right, something though that has been helpful that my midwife suggested if I wasn't sleeping well is magnesium. So I just got a 400 milligram magnesium supplement. This one I take once a day because most of the time people are lacking in magnesium anyways and I've heard good things about taking it during your pregnancy. So I just take one of these a day. Um, I also heard that it could cause diarrhea. I have not had that issue at all. So also speaking of the diarrhea, sorry to go off on this tangent here, but it is part of on my list. My digestion has been super, but I go every day. Um, I have a really, I feel like I eat quite well and I had before I even got pregnant for like five years prior when I got my health back in line, but I go very regularly being pregnant. So no constipation, nothing like that, which I know happens to some women, but um, part of that is staying super hydrated. So I take this to school and drink it. So I just make sure to stay hydrated to help with digestion. Um, another thing I have been doing, and you probably saw this in my other pregnancy video if you saw that, is drinking red raspberry leaf tea. Now there's so much research on this product that it helps with uterine strength and um, it just helps make your contractions stronger and gives you a much better labor. So I drink this every day regularly. Um, when it was a little bit warmer out, I had it cold, but now I drink it hot every day. I just either have it at school or when I get home from school. And I have just a giant bag here. It's super cheap. I got it off of Amazon. It is from the co-op brand. It's this giant bag and it was like eight bucks and this will last me obviously through my whole pregnancy. Once I get closer to the due date, I think I'll probably drink it twice a day because um, you don't want to jump start it. Don't start it in your first trimester because that can not be helpful and, and be potentially harmful. So don't start drinking it until the second trimester. But yeah, that's something I do faithfully and regularly and it tastes good too. All right, something that I did have an issue with here second trimester is acid reflux or heartburn. Like sometimes I can't tell the difference between the two, but um, sometimes it depends on what I ate. If I ate a banana for breakfast sometimes, I feel like then an hour later it would burn. Um, most of the time it's more tomato or acidic things or salsa, um, little spicier foods, and I like spicy foods, so it's kind of sad. I just 
deal with the repercussions of having acid reflux if that is the case if I really want spicy food but something that I've been doing to help with that is I'll have like a kombucha with ginger in it and I do make my own kombucha that helps settle my stomach or drink a peppermint tea something like that which has helped quite a bit so yeah that's kind of something that's been not so pleasant about my second trimester um, another thing that has not been so great that's been happening is I have gotten veins more um, prevalent on my lower ankles and legs it is genetic for me to have veins in my family they just have started to come out a little bit more but a way to naturally take care of those is I've been putting coconut oil on my leg with some geranium and this oil to me does not smell great I'm not a super floral scented girl so you want to make sure to get the 100% pure geranium if you're struggling with veins like that because you don't want to put anything on your body that's not 100% pure and this I did just get from Vitacost if you can see that um, how it's about one fluid ounce right there they're like um, doTERRA or Young Living has this that would be a great place to get it don't go get it just from the grocery store or anywhere that's not a reputable source so I then put this on my legs and I'm hoping that it will help make the veins go away after baby comes like I said I do have some veins anyways and they're not the ones popping out they're just more spider veins but yes they have been showing up more so in my ankles so I know what happens with pregnancy and especially if it's in my jeans all right another thing I have not had is stretch marks I've been faithfully using my belly butter cream. Um, I've done this in a couple videos, like a day in the life I showed you how I made it. I'll put the link of the website where I got it. It's basically just like coconut oil, shea butter, um, vitamin E oil, that's the most crucial, and then I put lavender in it to make it smell a little nicer. But I faithfully put this on once a day. Um, they do recommend twice a day, so if you're not using a cream yet, for stretch marks and you're worried about it, you must start, especially if you're in your second trimester. Um, I recommend putting this on your belly, um, like thighs, even your butt, and of course on your chest slash breast because that's where the stretch marks come in. Another thing that has happened my second trimester is I have had a rib out. And my rib on this back left side has been in and out and popping in and out. So sitting has been extremely painful. This happened about three or four weeks ago now already. I don't know if I just slept wrong, but um, I've been going to a chiropractor quite regularly now, like three times in the last three weeks um, to help ease that pain and like realign my pelvis and get things all ready for baby two. And um, I've just had a bad back in general prior to this from being a golfer and carrying a heavy bag a lot but um, yeah my rib did pop out and it hurts when a uh, baby moves up because I do carry pretty high so when baby moves up here it definitely hurts quite a bit so I do stand a lot more which doesn't help with the varicose veins on my legs either also like I said rub peppermint oil on my back because I don't want to use anything that's super harmful and this is good 100% pure again oil and I have Put that on my back um, when my hips are hurting too i'll put that on there i don't want to use anything that's too strong to too close to where the baby's at either but yeah that is my second trimester update hopefully they're helpful for you if you are going through pregnancy or know of someone who is or um coming want to get pregnant soon so you can kind of have an idea of what to expect and some things that maybe you can do anyways don't forget to like this video do subscribe, please, if you have not. I'd love to have you join my YouTube community, like I've said. But anyways, I can show you maybe my little baby bump update here before I let you go. So I just want to show you. I do carry pretty high, like I said. So nothing too low. But there it is. There's that side. So there is my nice little belly bump. And it definitely is growing and growing. And she's growing super well. Anyways, have a blessed and wonderful day, everyone, and I will talk with you in my next video. Bye.